So this next pass is a detail pass, um, and I've chosen to speed it up because it's it gets quite repetitive. Um, and I'll try and edit out as much of the redundant information as possible. So what I've done there is just split off, uh, uh, done a split um, using uh, the loop tool, loop selection to separate um, the head from the uh, the body. It doesn't separate it completely because it's still one object. Um, but what it actually does is if I put splits through the head um, it won't go right the way through the body and then I'm starting to shape the front of the the jawline in preparation for doing um, new loops around the, the jaws you can see there I'm just shaping it from the side view um, trying one or two different ways of, of viewing the um, the mesh when you're modeling like this you can make it transparent if you want and um, the reference isn't that detailed here we're just using it as a guide for shape so it's not that important for this this job now one of the important things that I keep referring to is form so there I'm, I'm looking at trying to generate sort of like more volume around the chin so we haven't done this edge loop up around the um, the, the jawline yet that's coming next but just trying to bulk out the chin and as you spin around you'll see that the, it's lost a bit of volume at the front there so starting to split now using the knife tool with uh, line rather than uh, loop and just put in splits that will allow um, a loop to come along the front of the jaw and up by the ear and with with the um, loop to with the cut done now we can just dissolve using um, selecting the edges and then dissolving will allow me just to get rid of those unwanted edges um, and then tweaking one of the biggest parts here is, is just keep tweaking and tweaking individual polygons like so um, and you you'll very quickly refine the shape that you want there you go just have a look at the uh, the loop that we've now got and that loops crucial for the jawline just makes it flow around the jaw quite easily um, at this this stage on on this pass it won't go like very very high detail but it'll give us the the, the basic edge loops that we want for the the mouth and the eye etc so first one being this this jawline loop and carrying on doing uh, knife splits up on the side keep dissolving out edges that aren't working and then tweaking back to make sure everything fits um, wherever possible I don't leave end guns at all just use quads and triangles as, as and limit the number of triangles uh, as much as possible um, as the more you can do that the less clean up there is later on now I'm moving up around the mouth so selecting the, the points around the mouth and do two or three extrusions in just to give us the loops and the shape of the the mouth again not too detailed but just enough to suggest the lip shape and enough to, to ensure that we can shape it to the reference and then one extra split coming inside so we'll do a loop split inside just to get a bit more of a shape internally and then moving on now to shaping it just bringing it around to match the reference of the chin up around the lips now again just holding down and tweaking just by pulling single polygons now up to the uh, nose we'll just put a couple more splits through so a split right through wouldn't work for us there so it's a case of using the knife tool and the line tool and then um, up across the brow and back down onto the nose it gives us some more polygons to play with to start shaping the nose there's lots of um, rules to learn um, with regard to edge loops around the nose and around the mouth and around the eyes they're not hard and fast rules and you can find your own way but when you're learning um, it's best just to have a look at how other people do it but the people that are doing it well are obviously doing it for getting them working for animation so the eye loops are quite standard the nose loops quite standard set up now and um, once you've got it right you'll you'll always do the same way 
um, depending on the model you're using obviously and the reference that you're using again this is quite a relaxed um, project so we don't need to get exactly to the, the reference um, again with the loop tool splitting round tightening tweaking getting it closer and closer and you can see it's just triangles and mainly quads so no engons not leaving any silly um, more than four sided shapes in there you can see there that uh, with a few tweaks the shape of the eye comes into view um, no pun intended so not, not any any minute now will be a, um, it'll be a time to um, extrude in for the eye shape um, and get the get a, a temporary eye in there so again that that lines crucial around the side of the cheek the cheek fold um, so sort of starting to build that up with lots of different variations of that as, as it evolves um, but it'll all lead to um, an edge loop coming up and around the nose from the cheek fold around the back of the no nose at the side Again, keep dissolving out any edges anything that doesn't uh, doesn't meet with the flow that you're trying to create I do put a few odd cuts that just shouldn't really be there so if you, sometimes you put them there to help you build and then go back and clean them up a bit more around the eye so again give it a bit more around the forehead the nose again keep keep thinking of the rules try and limit the number of triangles S certainly don't put any big five or six sided polygons in there that will need cleaning up at a later stage You can use the smooth brush, um, and I've said this a few times, but at this stage it's better just to just get as close as you can as you can to the close as you can to the reference by just tweaking, um, which is why we don't put too many cuts in there. So to make the nasal cavity, just extrude in, select the points, select the faces, extrude in, scale it down, extrude in again. And that gives you a nice cavity for the nostril and a couple of nice edge loops around it um, the edge loops aren't right around the back of it yet so that's still to come and clean up around the, the chin area still working on those edge loops still cleaning up dissolving where needed See an end on there in the middle, that's got to go. So lost volume in those cheeks, so I'll just quickly add in a bit of volume back in. Just making sure it's right to the reference. Select the faces for the eye extrusion or intrusion, whichever the correct word is. Gone in a couple of times. Now the hard, I've just hypernerved it there just to have a look at it. Now it looks quite basic and uh, quite uh, childlike in a way. So the thing that makes a difference now is if, um, if, we, if we get an eyeball or a sphere into there and then use that sphere as a as a reference to model around the the human eye and well any eye is the shape of it uh, on the surface is driven by the shape underneath so obviously our eyeballs go round our eyelids go round an eyeball so it's common sense that you model around an eyeball uh, and you'll see very very quickly that the difference between that first model that first uh, ex extrusion and then 
when you put an eyeball in. I just added it to a new layer and locked the layer with the little lock button. That means I can't touch the eye, can't select it. And then going in and using the brush tool, um, set to smooth then, which we don't want. So set the brush tool on a low setting, set it to smear, and then you can see what I'll do is I'll just tweak. You can use magnet here as well if you wish. Um, and then wrap around, wrap the eye skin, the uh, eyelid around that sphere. And you can see the difference in seconds there that it gives you a much more realistic look. Um, Hypernerved it again, just switch the hypernerve on. That smooths it out so that I can see. And then do a bit of modeling, tweaking, and adding volume with the hypernerve on. So matching that reference, spinning around. And I'm spotting things there a little bit off the, the plant. So I just spotted the ear wasn't where I wanted it. So I moved that back to the eye that I was doing. Volume on the nose. Um, switch the hyper nerve off. That's probably enough for this stage. Um, now the next the next portion there really is because I split the head off. I put that loop in to stop um, splits running through the whole mesh. So I think the next part will be to do the same for the um, arms and the boots and the, the pants and the top um, and the same process really just put a few knife loops in and um, just quickly did it there delete out an edge a loop and then just add a te add a drop a texture on I just made another texture called leather and then just get the um, the, the top extrude up, extrude in and extrude down and that, that makes the boot the head of the boot and the top of the boot it gives you, uh, it's separated from the body so we can texture it in a different way um, these are only temporary textures just to help us with the, the, the modelling um, so they don't bear any relevance to what the model is going to look like at the end and then just select the whole thing and drop the texture on it Same on both sides. The, uh, the two gloves. Now, same theory with the trousers and the pants, and just scale up the edge, extrude it down, extrude it in. Same for the top. You'll see when this is hypernerved that it makes uh, it makes sense. You've basically given yourself little bits of skin, so the belly is a separate mesh to the pants and the top. There are lots of different ways of doing that. You can retopologize the mesh for clothing, or you can make completely separate clothing altogether if you want. If you're ever going to take the clothing off and show the underside, then you obviously don't do this method. Same for the underside of the top. You can see why I sped it up at this stage because it's quite repetitive. It's the same thing over and over again. Um, it's good to see it once you've done it once. It becomes quite um, straightforward. It's simply select that edge ring, hold down command, and then just move out and scale. 
it's a great fast way of extruding around your mesh so do the sleeves do the neck Exactly the same with the top. 